Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, Portland. I came here today because Portland is the transportation capital of our country. Portland is the green capital of our country. Portland is the streetcar capital of our country. And Portland is, and Portland is the livable community capital of America. That's why I came here. It is great to be here to celebrate the next step in Portland's development as one of the most livable, sustainable, and economically vibrant cities in America, bar none. For decades now, public transportation has had a starring role in Portland's strategy to spur economic development and manage growth. It is a part of Portland's DNA. It's difficult to imagine Greater Portland without streetcars, light rail, buses, to take commuters and tourists almost anywhere they want to go. I congratulate the citizens for creating a city that values mobility, the environment, the power of public transportation to tie it all together. And I want to thank all of the leaders in the federal and state government who have supported that vision over the years by investing in and guiding local transportation programs, including the Portland Streetcar Project. From the governor to your fabulous congressional delegation who is always looking out for the best interest of Oregon and in particular for Portland. Thank you for putting federal transportation dollars and stimulus funds to work for Oregon. Thanks to your support, thanks to your support for the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act an extra $360,000 in federal money is available to keep the east side expansion of the Portland Streetcar Project moving at a time when local funding is very tight. These funds will supplement the $75 million in federal project funds which the delegation and I announced back in April. The Portland streetcar is popular and it's one of the nation's most successful partnerships between a city and a transit operator. And now with this expansion, we can highlight other promising partnerships between Portland and a homegrown manufacturing company, Oregon Ironworks. This company has built the prototype streetcar we're unveiling here today and it's expected to build the new cars that will run along the tracks here two years from now. These are the first street cars to be manufactured in America in nearly 30 or 60 years. That is a great, great accomplishment. I believe this is the dawn of a new era for public transportation in the United States. A new opportunity to claim made in America. That is a great thing to be able to say. And I know all of these folks that'll do the work really appreciate that. And it's a chance to generate good paying union jobs right here in the region. I want to acknowledge the folks who are here from Oregon Iron Works and their union representatives. I look forward to touring the facility the project demonstrates exactly the kind of synergy we need in the United States of America today. We must invest in transportation projects that preserve and enhance the unique characteristics of each neighborhood just as the Portland streetcar does. We should offer communities a range of transportation options from highways to bike paths to streetcars that link home, work, and recreation just as Portland does. And our plans for growth must aim toward greater energy efficiency and lower emissions. Portland has done that too, not only by emphasizing transit, but also by teaming up with a company that is so close by. There's no question that the Recovery Act is working for America and it is working for Oregon. We're proud to be your full partners in this effort to build the transportation system for the 21st century that we all need and deserve, and I'm confident 
that the people of Oregon will reap the rewards of these investments for many years. Let me repeat something. Portland is the transportation capital of America. Portland is the green capital of America. Portland is the streetcar capital of America. And Portland is the livable community capital of America. Thank you, Portland.